What's up, YouTubers? Fast Freddy, aka Funktitious42 on Instagram. Today I'm going to shoot a little video on the Hornady Lock and Load AP. It's a progressive press by Hornady. It's a five station press. Today we're going to run some 45 ACP. It's a 230 grain jacketed hollow point bullet. And we're using once fired brass, just cleaned. And the way my press is set up today is I have station one here is a decap and size. On the downstroke of that, you're going to set your primer. Station number two on the upstroke is going to be flare your case neck. Station number three is going to be using the case activated powder drop, dropping your powder. Case number, station four rather, is your bullet seating die, seats your bullet depth. And then station five rolls your taper back in on your bullet and it spits out. So every time you set new brass, set a bullet, turns out a new round. I'm going to run a couple for you. Set you up here so you can see what I'm doing. Now what you'll notice is, I'm gonna talk through it. So what I would do is I would say brass, bullet, pull, press, brass, bullet, pull, press, brass, bullet. press and if you do that for a while it just keeps you in rhythm and it keeps you from making mistakes last thing you want to do is make mistakes when you're loading your ammunition so one thing I want to talk about real quick though is if you're using an extruded flake powder like I am today I'm using unique you want to randomly pull these out of, out of the station after it drops the powder and weigh. It's perfect, 6.5, that's what I want to run. And then simply just dump it back in and then reset it. So what I found is any extruded flake powder when you're using this case activated powder drop, make sure your stuff is really clean and maybe graphited and use a little anti-static like a fabric softener sheet or something to wipe down your your drop. And then it's nice to have this light so you can always look in there on that station. And then also randomly, like any loader would tell you, is you want to you want to check your overall lengths. And I'm right on the money right now. So this press really once you figure it out, does a great job of loading handgun rounds. A little harder to run rifle ammunition on this just because the, the full sizing of the neck or I mean of the, of, the, of the brass and everything else that you're doing begins to be so much resistance that it's hard to keep this thing from almost ripping it off the table if you're trying to do like 30 odd six. You can run 223 ammo on this but I use a single stage mostly for my rifle stuff but for 38 special 357 45 9 millimeter you can really crank it out with this setup right here that's all I got for today leave me any comments and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this helped you out happy loading thanks